twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like the diamond in the sky. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from around the globe. For those who are joining me from Nigeria, Africa, Asia, Europe, America, Australia. I appreciate you very much and I say God bless you. I see all your comments. Thank you for your contributions to my channel and all your support. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remember this. Once again, I remind you that I bring you information on things that are happening in Nigeria, more especially on the life of our celebrities, the Nollywood industry and the music industry. And today, we are talking about no one else but one of our own, one of our, the biggest musicians we have in Nigeria, the celebrity we have in Nigeria, that is nobody but Davido, who they breathe. Yeah. The video have asked the question again, once again, who they breathe. The video splashes 240 million on brand new 2021 Rolls Royce. Nigeria have taken to the social media to hail singer the video on his new acquisition. The father of three showed off his latest ride on his Instagram page. The video stated that he gifted himself the ride while thanking his fans. Trust the video. He's always doing exceptional things, you know. All this recently, he has been gifting all his children with cars and all that, with very expensive cars. And finally, he has come to himself and also gifted to himself. We get to love ourselves, not just loving people. If you don't love yourself very well, you cannot be able to love people more. So that's why you got to love yourself. That's why the Bible say, love people as you love yourself. Love your neighbors as yourself. You don't got to love anybody more than yourself it is just natural no matter how you pretend so the video have done it splashing a gift to himself 240 million a brand new 2021 rose royce and he's happy with it and we gotta be happy with him he really worked hard for it he deserves it someone deserves to take care of himself after much effort and much trial so let us see him with the brand new Rolls Royce and see how he purchased it and how he's celebrating. Let's watch together and do not forget to subscribe as you leave. Thank you and remember us. Let's watch. Why you guys real quick? Here's my man Devin. Hey, come How's it going, guys? Hey, don't fucking play with me, dog. Fucking brand new, dog. Fuck it, dog. What'd I say? Hey, what'd I say, dog? Don't play, bro. Don't fucking play with me. See, this one is inspiration. Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> right where I belong. Good evening. See my friend. See my boss. If I look at pussy, though. Where's it built? <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. Good. What's Scorpio good? Season. So everyone, David O and I are the same age. I'm a little bit older than him, so he should be calling me Auntie Copy. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, happy birthday in advance. Why? Did, I thought you were gonna drop this album on your birthday. That's what I thought. I thought nah, you. Nah, I, I wanted to have like my birthday as my birthday and the album as my album. My album was meant to have dropped since October, but unfortunately, because of all the protests and the things we're going through in Nigeria, I had to move. I have, to move, I have to move the album. But I actually just want to celebrate my birthday separately. You just, you know, enjoy it with family, with friends. A hundred percent. So you spoke about how you delayed your album, obviously because of what was going on in Nigeria. Now, I was so proud to see you step up, be the young influencer that you, that you are, and really take a voice. What was it like being an activist? You know, for the whole SARS movement, for having your voice at the forefront, you sat there, you know, with the with the government officials. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I was the first say, like, first of all, I got my courage from all the other youths that went out there before me. You know, they had been protesting for days before I even got there or decided to go. Um, 
So I, I'd say, like, those people gave me a lot of courage, especially the, the females, the, the, the women that were there, you know, protesting uh, and all. So I actually went to Abuja to see the inspector general of police because I, I knew I had access to him. I knew I could see him. Because I didn't, they, even without the protest, there had to be dialogue. And, you know, on getting to Abuja, I was informed that, you know, the, the protesters just got attacked by these same police people that I'm trying to go and see. So I was like, I was just crazy, like in the middle of everything. So I went to the uh, the protest ground and everything. And, you know, when I first even got there, they were attacking me, even angry at me, like, ah, now where have I been since? Now I'm just coming. You know, I could see the pain. I could see the anger in Nigeria. You know, in Nigeria, especially, you know, especially the background I come from, I, I felt like it would be very insensitive for me not to, you know, you know, lend my voice. And then getting there, if we get it um, towards the police force, I could already see the police already cocking their gun, trying to throw tear gas, stuff like that. So we have to really go to the forefront, stop them, calm everything down.